guys and welcome back to The Family Fudge. My name is Jennifer and tonight I have another What's For Dinner Wednesday video for you. The Family Fudge, The Family Fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. So it's not always practical for me to take the family out to Chinese food because number one, I have some kids that are picky eaters and number two, my husband has some food allergies. So when you go out to eat, it's kind of sometimes a little questionable. So tonight I'm gonna to be making a Mongolian beef and it is in the slow cooker. It is so quick and easy and I know you're going to love it. Okay, so here's what you need to make Mongolian beef in the slow cooker. I have some skirt steak. This is about one and a half pounds. I have some water, brown sugar, cornstarch, two carrots, about three cloves of garlic, some soy sauce. I'm gonna be using the reduced sodium gluten-free version, but you use whatever kind of soy sauce you prefer. I have some coconut oil, and some black pepper. Okay, I'm also gonna be using a one gallon sized Ziploc bag and obviously my slow cooker. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is cut up my steak. Okay, so I'm gonna to wanna to cut this against the grain. I was reading the back of the package of this meat and it said to take this meat and cut it into three pieces like this and then I'm going to cut strips this way. So that's against the grain. I think I'm gonna cut this one too. Because I have little kids, I don't want really big, long pieces. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut against the grain, long strips. I guess if you do it that way, it's going to make it more tender. Okay, so I got all of my meat sliced up. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in a Ziploc bag and then put my cornstarch on top of that. This is one quarter cup of cornstarch. I'm gonna throw that in there. And before I do anything else, I'm gonna wash my hands and this board. Okay, now that we're all cleaned up, I'm going to close up my Ziploc bag and I'm going to shake this all around and so all of the cornstarch can coat the meat. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside and I'm going to now chop up my carrots. You can chop your carrots any way you prefer, but I'm gonna use my handy dandy crinkle cutter from Pampered Chef, because that makes it cute and easy. Okay, so now that we have our carrots chopped up, now comes the easy part. We're basically just gonna dump everything into our slow cooker. So I'm gonna start with two tablespoons of coconut oil. You could substitute olive oil if that's what you prefer. And then in goes my carrots. I have three quarters of a cup of brown sugar three quarters of a cup of soy sauce, three quarters cup water. Stir that all up. All right, time to crush up my garlic. I'm gonna be using three cloves of garlic because we like garlic in our house, but you can add more or less if you prefer. All right, so here's my meat mixture. I'm gonna go ahead and dump that in now. Okay, so I'm not gonna add any more salt to this at this point because I wanna make sure it's not too salty with all the soy sauce in there. I may add more salt after it's done, but right now I'm gonna go ahead and add an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper. And then I'm going to mix it all up. We want that beef to have sauce all over it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this on low for 
four hours. You could cook this on high for two hours if you prefer. So in the last about 20 minutes of cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and steam up some rice and some broccoli and we will serve it all together. All right guys, it is all done and it smells so good. It actually smells like a Chinese takeout. So usually you cook this recipe on low for three to four hours. And I actually got a new crock pot for my birthday and this crock pot had it done in three hours. So definitely check yours at three hours to see if it's done. All right, so let's build ourselves a bowl. I went ahead and cooked some rice and I actually cooked this in half water, half chicken broth, because I had a couple of cups of chicken broth left. And this, that's totally optional, but when I cook it in half water, half chicken broth, it gives it a lot of flavor. So, I'm going to put some rice in my bowl. There we go. And now for some of the delicious beef. I get plenty of that sauce in there. Yum. And now for the broccoli. All right, there you have it. Now, this part is totally optional. But I have some green onions growing in my backyard, so I thought just to make it a little bit prettier, I would go ahead and snip some green onions right on the top there. Just for a little added flavor and color. Totally optional. All right, Mongolian beef in the slow cooker. It was so easy, I can't wait to give it a try. It is so good. It definitely didn't need any more salt, just the soy sauce. Um, and I might add a little bit of red pepper flakes to mine. I wouldn't put it in my whole dish because, you know, I have little kids. But I might put some red pepper flakes on mine, just mine, to make it a little bit more spicy. But it is so good. The meat is so tender, but it's not mushy. Yum. This is going to be your, one of your new family favorite recipes. You should definitely try this. You will not be disappointed. All right guys, there it is. Mongolian beef in the slow cooker. Now, I'm no food anthropologist, so I can't tell you how authentic this dish is, but I just know it is yummy and that you're going to love it. Let me know in the comments down below, if you try this recipe, what do you think? And if you make any changes, let me know what those are. Anyway, I hope you guys are having an awesome Wednesday. Thanks for joining me again, and I will see you next time.